y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet my name is Lilith and for today's video we're filming a what I eat in a week so today is Monday morning and this morning I'm starting my day off with coffee lemon water and pancakes that are mostly gone already before we get on to the rest of this what I eat in a day, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And definitely check the description box because there will be recipes for a bunch of the things that I make. Y'all have seen my pancakes before. I will link the recipe for them down below as well. So yeah, I'll see you again at lunch. Y'all have seen it before and you'll see it again. This is my lunch, the TLTA from Whole Foods and some of my favorite fancy chips. I got the sweet potato crinkle cut this time because I wanted to try it. I'm also finishing my coffee since I just got back from the grocery store. You guys saw me make this in last week's video, so if you want the recipe for this shepherd's pie, go check out last week's video. But I'm just gonna drop some parsley on top and serve this up for dinner. Ooh, doesn't it look so good? It's a lentil shepherd's pie lots of veggies and yummy potatoes maybe play a little bit before bed so I still haven't gone to Costco hopefully that will happen today after lunch so I still don't have any frozen fruit to make smoothie bowls but I made a bowl of oatmeal instead this just has like oatmeal with cinnamon and flaxseed with some Jake and Juby's granola on top and some fresh strawberries and blueberries because I do have some fresh fruit I also have some fresh peaches and the fresh pears. I was thinking about making like a pear galette or something though, so we'll see. But like a oil-free healthy version. I think that would be yummy. And then the peaches, I wanna do a baked oatmeal with, baked oatmeal recipe with later this week. So we'll do that at some point, but for right now we were running late this morning. We slept in about an hour. So I just wanted to make a really quick breakfast Still went to the gym, worked out with Caroline Gervin. Today was a shoulder day, so I'm sure they're gonna be so sore later. Today I have a lot of filming to do, which means I need to finish this, clean up the kitchen, and then go shower because makeup is gonna take me a little while. Makeup takes me like at least an hour on filming days because I like to do all the fun stuff. Y'all know, y'all have seen. Okay, I'll see y'all again at lunch. Oh yeah, coffee, coffee, and then I'll see you at lunch later. Okay, we're gonna make fancy toast for lunch.
It's time to eat fancy toast. Dinner is this beautiful Thai green curry and some tea. We got this like belly blend, like good for digestion, uh, tea at the farmer's market. And since we kind of like ate cake and not so great this weekend, we've been drinking it with dinner just to help uh, reset everything. But I'm super excited to try this curry. Mm. a little spicy but the fresh herbs oh it's so good and if you want the recipe for this curry go check out last week's meal prep with me video the recipe is linked in the description over there as well as like how to make it in the video so we finally went to Costco yesterday and I now have frozen fruit again I'm so excited so I made a smoothie bowl for breakfast I promise that it was prettier than this, but I started taking a couple bites and then was like, oh shit, I need to film it. Uh, but I'm just kind of like nomming while I put the dishes away and I need to wash the blender as well. I also this morning made some granola because I've been having this issue where I cannot seem to find a oil-free, cane sugar-free, high-carb, granola like i just i can't find one they all are just like grain free which like i do like nut granolas but i'm not trying to have like a whole bunch of nuts in the morning like i know i put peanut butter on my smoothie bowl but that's why i wanted a grain granola because i'm smoothie bowl anyways so i made my own granola and i've tried i've tried to make granola before and i have failed every single time i don't know why it's just the one thing that i couldn't figure out how to make but I think this time I think it turned out I think I figured it out so I'm gonna mess with the recipe a little bit more mess with the flavors this one I kind of just threw together with some ingredients that I had and then I will probably get y'all a recipe at some point but yeah I'm just having my lemon water and my smoothie bowl while I get some stuff done and then I'll probably make coffee before I go shower today's gonna be a really chill day I need to edit this week's video and I actually don't know what else I need to look at my to-do list. This is why I have a to-do list because I can't remember what I need to do off the top of my head. Oh, I need to fold the laundry because that hasn't happened yet. I'm going to do that after I get out of the shower before I work because that needs to happen. Yeah, okay. I'm so happy to have my smoothie bowls again. For lunch, I made a tropical salad with an orange juice dressing. So there is a romaine and curly purple lettuce, strawberries, mangoes, peaches, tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, sprouts, there's shallots in the dressing, fresh mint, cilantro, and thyme in the dressing. So just a very, very fresh, uh, colorful salad for lunch. I didn't really follow any recipe for the dressing. I just kind of threw some things together. There's also like red wine vinegar, no, white wine vinegar in it and tahini and agave and salt and pepper. I think that's everything. Yeah, I just kind of threw it all in a jar, shook it up and dressing. Toss the salad, cut up all the fruit, slap that on top, super easy. I'm gonna enjoy this now and then probably take a nap because I'm I'm very tired. I'm very sleepy. Okay. Organic lime, garlic, and date blend. This was the yummy one. That's the one that's like ingredients that you recognize. That's the good sriracha. Ooh, Look at fancy. this. Oh, this this is the good sriracha. The ingredients are jalapenos. Vinegar, garlic, dates, 
raisins, I know, weird, salt, tangerines, again, weird, tangerine juice, sorry, uh, and lime juice, all organic. And you recognize all of those ingredients and it's so good. This is the best sriracha. We're having, again, uh, shepherd's pie. All I had to do was pop that other one in the oven for 30 minutes and boom, dinner ready. Didn't have to do like anything tonight, which is why I meal prep beautiful. All right, I cannot wait to dig into this. BB made a friend. Now you're not the only main healer in our party. Good morning. It's Thursday. We're back from the gym. We did biceps and triceps today, so holding up my camera is difficult, but I'm gonna push through for you guys. I made a smoothie bowl this morning with my homemade granola and fresh fruit and almond butter, and I'm so excited because it's so good and crunchy and nom noms. And I'm just watching YouTube while I eat breakfast. I've got my lemon water. I feel really good today because I ate really healthy yesterday. So the gym was really nice this morning. Feeling good. Gonna do it again. I am so excited to eat this Thai green curry again because it's so freaking good. It's so yummy. I'm pretty basic. I have just about the same thing for breakfast every day. So guys, today is the first day that my partner is going back into the office. So he just left and I'm here all alone eating my breakfast. I don't like it. He's only going in for a half day, so he'll be back for lunch uh, since it's only his first day back. And he doesn't have to go into the office every single day. Uh, he can kind of go back whenever right now, but he didn't want like a big adjustment when they do finally say like come back to the office So he's gonna go in maybe once or twice a week for now. I don't know what to do. I don't like it, but We're gonna try and I have a lot of work to do today So hopefully him not being here will help me focus more and uh, We can try and make the house like really nice for when he gets back Tonight is stream night, so it'll be fun hanging out with him tonight when he gets home. Well, I'll be back this afternoon, but it'll still have to work. But it'll be fun to hang out with him tonight. Coffee today is an iced oat milk latte sweetened with coconut sugar and has a little bit of vanilla powder in it. Pretty good. Oat milk just is so creamy and like thick when you foam it. Whether you foam it cold or hot, it's just, mmm, <sighs> that delicate sweet cream foam. Look at this toast. Oh my goodness, there's so much on it. Alexa, stop! What are you doing? Anyways, avocado, salt, pepper, uh, cooked slice of tomato, because I like my tomato like a little cooked, you know? Shallots, uh, mint, thyme, microgreens, hot uh, sriracha, nooch, and hemp seeds. I think that's everything. We're just gonna call this like the kitchen sink toast because I just went in my kitchen and pulled a bunch of stuff out that sounded good on toast and put it together. So, you know what? Let's Let's try it. Yep, you can put anything on avocado toast and it's good. My lovely partner over here came home from the office today, his first day back in the office with cookies. His friend had gotten some cookies and left them there, I guess, and was like, take the cookies. Is that what happened? Pretty much. So, I'm gonna eat a cookie. We're gonna put this away yeah. and only have one. Yeah. We can have another one later while we're playing. Okay. 
They're just chocolate chip cookies from Whole Foods. Din -din. And it's Friday night, so on Friday nights I make like uh whatever you have in your fridge end of the week stir fry. Basically, essentially. So today I made noodles with uh I made like curry noodles. So I did red curry paste with this. Tofu, the last bell pepper that I had, a little bit of cabbage, the rest of the shallot, ginger, garlic, the uh last couple jalapenos, and then a couple other ingredients in there. I don't know. I just threw a bunch of stuff in there. End of the week stir fry. This is how I get rid of ingredients at the end of the week. Every Friday I make a usually Asian inspired dish bowl. Usually a stir fry. Yeah. Use some of the herbs in there as well that I had left over. Okay, so it is a little bit late. It's 12.30, but it's Friday night and we are playing Final Fantasy with friends. I was getting a little hungry, so getting a snack for my partner and I. We're each gonna have a little bowl of hippies. We found a big bag of this at Costco, which was really cool. So we've been putting them in like little bowls as little snack bowls. Oh, so, hello. So it is 11.30 on a Saturday morning. Uh, we're just up and out of bed, getting ready to go to the gym, but because it's so late in the morning, I'm actually gonna eat before I go to the gym. I don't usually do this except on Saturdays when we kind of sleep in because I usually have breakfast around like 9 a.m. So if I sleep past that, I'm like, oh, I need food before I go to the gym. So I'm just going to have a banana with some peanut butter on it. I'm sure there's better snacks I could have, but I don't have anything right now. I don't know. Uh, and I don't really, I would just eat the banana on its own, but I don't really like just fresh banana on its own. I don't know, I'm weird. Love nice cream, love frozen bananas. Fresh bananas, eh, not so much. It is nice and ripe though. Although I do usually like it a little bit riper, but this is all I've got right now, so. Working with what we got. This peanut butter is nothing added, it's just peanuts and a pinch of salt. Today is gonna to be a busy day, but that's okay. I will be able to, I believe in myself to get everything done. I gotta to plan tomorrow's picnic and make food for it. I've got to wash my hair, redo my nails, I'm missing one. That's about it, but still, that's gonna take me like all day. There's like three things. Okay, we're back from the gym and I made an ice cream because it's like in the 90s outside, so it's hot. Uh, nice cream for lunch. We had like a handful of spinach left, so I popped that in there. We have these leftover ice cream cones from a cake that I made, so I just put some, some crushed up ice cream cone on top to really make it like summery nice cream. Huh? So this is lunch. Oh yeah, I'm hot right now. But how was your nice cream? Good. Good. So good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because I think they're like Swedish. Do me a favor. Ooh. All the ice cubes in the bottom of that are still coffee, so you'll still get more coffee as it melts. So you don't have to worry about mixing up all the foam. Because as the coffee melts and you drink, the foam will mix. 
Okay, for dinner, uh, we ordered delivery because we don't really have any food left. You know, I used up all the rest of our stuff last night. Uh, we ordered free birds, so we've got a burrito, chips, and guac. I always feel like free birds and chipotle are like a little bit better uh, thing to order because we get rice and beans and free birds has potatoes and vegetables. So, you know, it's not the healthiest, but I think it's a healthier option when eating out. Usually I get a salad too. Every once in a while though, I'll get a burrito and today was one of those days getting a burrito because I'm hungry. So, and I was just feeling a burrito. Double wrapped. Okay. And Freebirds, their creamy jalapeno sauce is vegan. So that's really cool. I'm sitting here looking at my burrito in the background, looking like I'm confused on how to fucking eat it. Cause you never eat it with the foil on even though we tell you to. Mm. Ah! Oh! Sliding around too much. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. <clears throat> I hope that you enjoyed all of the meals. Let me know which one in the comments was your favorite meal. And if you are going to try any of them or if this inspired you to make something, let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.